All right, welcome everybody to episode three of this uh, series we're doing. So if you haven't been paying attention or if you haven't been following along, essentially we're building a 5M server from scratch. And in the first two episodes, we've already went over how to set up an ESX server. And then in the second video, we went over how to install Aux Inventory, create shops and add items. So in this third video, we're going to be teaching you guys how to actually install and use Aluminum Appearance, which is essentially the most popular 5m resource for handling skins so changing your character's appearance kind of deal so in order to do this what you're going to want to do is go down to the description below and you're going to click on the link for the github to the aluminum appearance i'll be leaving a direct link to here all you got to do is click on it and then you'll be coming to this page from here you just scroll down and hit aluminum appearance here and download this zip once you have that downloaded we're going to go right into our 5m server which is our our server's files we're going to go into resources and then from here what we're going to actually do is we're then going to open up the file that we just downloaded we're going to open up aluminum appearance and all you have to do is drag and drop this into one of our core or esx underscore add-ons folders so for me i'm just going to drag it into the core because i think this is a core component from here if you're using esx or if you're using any other framework you may need to look into it a little bit more but if you're following along in this tutorial or using esx then just do what i do you're going to want to come in here and you're going to want to delete skin changer and you're going to want to delete esx skin these are the most default resources we're not going to need these we're just going to delete these once that's deleted we're going to go into esx underscore multi-character and we're going to go to fx manifest and we're going to want to find dependencies and we're going to want to remove esx underscore skin from here what this is going to do is if it is in there the script will not start without that being removed because it's saying in order for the script to run esx underscore skin must be installed but we are replacing esx underscore skin with aluminum appearance so with that, we need to remove that bit of the code from the fxmanifest.lua or it will not run. From there, we're going to close this. And all you have to do now is go into our resources and or sorry, our 5M server. And we're going to go into our server CFG. Once you're in your server CFG, first things first, you need to make sure that you actually start aluminum appearance. For me, I have the entire core folder here started, so I will already be started automatically. If you didn't put it in something like this, you will need to come in here and make sure you start it like this. The thing we need to make sure we do though is actually come up here and we need to ensure aux underscore lib. If you don't have aux lib installed, then you can go check out my second video, which was installing aux inventory. And I teach you guys how to install aux lib. But you need to make sure you start aux lib before you start the core because it, aux lib is a requirement for aluminum appearance. If aux lib is not started before aluminum appearance, aluminum appearance will not start correctly. So again, make sure you come into your service CFG, make sure you start aux lib first and then start aluminum appearance or your category like I did core. Again, if you're following this tutorial along in the playlist, in the first episode, we set this up. So all you got to do now is come in here and add ensure Oxlib into your server CFG. From there, all you got to do is start the server and I'll see you guys once we're in. All right. So now that we're loaded in, if you actually go ahead and open up the pause menu and you go look at these clothing stores, you're going to notice there's going to be new clothing stores. Alongside that, there's going to be new barber shops as well. So essentially what this did is this is going to replace all of the default ASX resources that we did have, such as barber shops, clothing stores, tattoos. So aluminum appearance will automatically add clothing stores, barber shops, tattoos. So if we actually go to one of these clothing stores and we go inside, we should now be able to come over here and press E. Boom. Now it's set by clothing. Now we have aluminum appearance set up and working. So it's very simple to install. It's not too difficult at all. It should work properly as you guys see here. So if you guys did enjoy today's tutorial and you guys want to see more tutorials like this, then make sure you guys subscribe. Also go look on the channel and make sure you guys go to the playlist tab where you can watch episode one all the way to now. Also, please subscribe. We're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers, and there's going to be plenty of more tutorials just like this. Make sure you guys also join the Discord where you guys can get provided support. Alongside that, you guys can order custom scripts and custom things for your server. Also, you can give us suggestions on tutorials that you guys want to see if you are not aware on how to do things. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day.